Hello Cancer and welcome to your mid-August reading. So this reading is for the second half of August. I will divide the cards into almost a first week in a, or sorry, the second last week and the last week of August and I will pull um, a card for the overall energy for the last half of August for you. And I'm going to finish up the reading with the Arch two Archangel Power Tarot cards. Um, this is a general reading and as such the messages are not going to resonate for everyone so be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well and cancer let's see what we have for you for the last half of august wow shuffle is not working today okay so cancer okay yeah, wow, very similar feel to your sister sign of Pisces. Oh, wow, wow, Cancer. Out of the eight cards already pulled, you have five of them are major arcana cards. And in that second last week of, or sorry, in that final week of August, it's all uh, major arcana cards here. So very very important week for you in that last week and and the overall energy is another major arcana card so of the nine cards pulled six of them are major arcana so i feel like the last half of august cancer for you is going, going to be very impactful and very meaningful for you you do have the hermit here as your overall energy so this is really about you going within to seek clarity if you're unsure of anything um, what step what action to take um, or what you want to do make sure that you're going within to seek those answers um, so maybe, you know, you could have a lot of chatter around you, a lot of people trying to give you their advice, give you their opinions. Um, make sure in this last two weeks that you're really listening more to yourself than to the people around you. You know what's best for you. You know in your heart of hearts what you want. And this hermit gives you that that um, inner clarity. It, it enlightens you to your personal truth and gives you spiritual illumination. So in that last half of August, um, make sure that you are going within and reflecting on, on the things that are going on in your life. And I do feel like you're going to be doing that in this second last week of August, Cancer. You have the King of Cups, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. Fantastic cards. Um, I think you can definitely see a pattern here, a theme here. The King of Cups, Cups is water energy, it's emotional energy, and it's intuitive energy. And this is, you are a water sign, so this is you, this is, you are a King of Cups, Cancer. So I really feel like this is you taking charge in the second last week. This is you very, being very in touch with your emotions and very in touch with your intuition. Um, and you could even be helping others around you because the King of Cups is a leader. So you could also be offering guidance to others as well. But I really feel like this is you, um, just being very, you using your your um, empathy, using your 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 intuition to make decisions in the second last week. You also have the Four of Pentacles here, and the Four of Pentacles represents you desiring long term security. So you're seeking security in some area of your life. You're wanting to build stability, a nice stable foundation as you move forward in some area of your life. This could be your money, career, finances. It could even be your relationships or health and wellness. And you have the Eight of Cups as well. Eight of Cups represents you, you're recognizing and realizing the things in life that no longer provide you with fulfillment. And you've turned your back on those things because you're now seeking the things that do fulfill you. You are finding your own inner clarity and your personal truth and you're going after it and you're using your intuition she's facing the moon and the moon represents so let me just bring this card down so you can see it better um, she's facing the moon she's walking towards the moon because she's letting her intuition guide you she's letting her higher self guide her and she's digging deep and finding those deep buried emotions and and to really seek what it is that's going to bring her pleasure and joy in her life 
whatever area that is. And the fool represents that leap of faith. So this is really you taking action and, and you might not have all the answers as you move forward, but you're okay with that. You know the universe will, will open up and light up the path as you move forward and when it's right for you. And you know that because you're in touch with your intuition. You're letting that be your guide and light up the path as you go. And that's continuing on into this, this final week of August. You have the star, the magician, the devil, but the high priestess. These three cards here are super intuitive. These four cards here are extremely intuitive. The hermit is about going within. The high priestess is, this is, this is trusting yourself. This is all about intuition. She knows all the, the, the secrets of the universe by being able to tap into her intuition and let that guide her. It's, it's the mystery of the universe and secrets. She's able to reveal those things. The magician, um, this is all about focused creativity, turning your visions into reality and taking inspired action. You're taking that leap of faith because you're inspired by something. You're beginning to find what emotionally resonates with you. And you have all the tools, all the skills, all the abilities to do that. And you know that. And the star, again, this is, a, is another in, intuitive card. But it's also about renewal and hope. And this leap of faith you take, it gives you a renewed hope in some area of your life. Believing you're having faith again that you're, you're finding happiness, that you're increasing your happiness. And you're doing something that feels very purposeful and worthwhile for you. Now we have this devil card here. And the devil card, and you have the high priestess and the magician, like it's sandwiched right between the two of them. And the magician is about turn, being able to, it's focusing your creativity so that you can make your dreams a reality for you. You're being inspired to take action. Sometimes when we do that, we feel like we don't have enough skills or abilities to do that because because it, it, can, it can be a daunting experience, especially if we're headed in a new direction in our life, Cancer. And so it can be a little scary. So at, at times, we might not have the confidence um, as we're moving forward. The devil here, devil can represent addictions. It can represent toxic relationships or people in our lives or situations or things or behaviors in our life. The other side of the devil, though, is the devil has can be very egotistical. Um, he, he can be very charming. He can be very, um, again, uh, ego, egotistical to the point where he's, he's very, um, like, overconfident, where he's cocky. And I feel like this is for any times that you doubt yourself. I'm feeling like the devil here in this reading, because it is sandwiched between such other positive, like very powerful and positive cards, that this is more about you having faith in yourself and really taking, it's about you facing your, your shadow self or facing your insecurities and flushing them away. By tapping into that, that ego, into your ego, letting that help you to build the confidence that you need as you're moving forward. Because you're moving forward, you're doing something that's very powerful, very, it might not seem like a big deal even in this last week of August, but this is something that is going to, whatever you're doing in this last half of August, it's going to impact you for many years to come. These are major arcana cards. The, the minor arcana represents the day-to-day energies, but major arcana, these are things that can play out for years. They have big impacts in your life. So I really feel like this is you recognizing any insecurities you have and overcoming them with by using your intuition, by going within, and by realizing that you are more than capable of moving in any direction you want to go in cancer. Because the high priestess here again, she is, she has, she's in touch tune with the secrets of the universe, with mystery. She trusts herself and she follows her intuition. So I really do feel like this devil isn't about toxic relationships 
and behaviors or anything like that. I think it's more about the insecurities or feeling insecure about something in some direction you're taking. Like just, and it, that can just simply be uncertainties too. And that you're overcoming that though. With all these powerful players here, I really feel like you are overcoming that. And with, it's funny with the card that's crowning the devil, you have this Eight of Cups and this is you releasing things that don't emotionally fulfill you anymore because you're using your intuition to guide you to move forward. And I feel like that's how you're overcoming your insecure, any insecurities that you may have or even any indecision that you may have. Sometimes insecurities are ones that we don't even realize we carry because they, they are actual subconscious blocks that are in, in our minds and we, we self-sabotage through that. So I really feel like you're just overcoming that. You're releasing any kind of karma, any kind of subconscious blocks that might have held you back in the past in any area of your life. So I really feel like the end of August is a very powerful, powerful time for you, Cancer. Okay, and then you have... <laughs> You have Divine Guidance and you have the Four of Ariel. So the Divine Guidance represents you could be seeking um, more of a purpose in life um, or meaning in life. And the key with this is to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with individuals that like-minded individuals or people who are very experienced in some area. So as you're moving forward, whether or not it's relationships, money, career, finance, whatever it is, any, anything that you're doing, any projects you have on the go, any actions that you're taking, if you do feel any kind of insecurities or uncertainty, you have all the skills and abilities to do it yourself, but also seek out mentors, people that have been through it before, that have done it before, and they can just help kind of point you in the right direction or even provide alternatives or, or suggestions. You don't have to take them, but that's completely up to you. But do seek out um, people who, who already know and have been through something, whatever it is that you're going through. And then you have the Four of Ariel here, and this is recognizing that when you give, you also receive and you get back. And it's about you being resistant to change. It has the same energy as this Four of Coins, and it's about seeking um, stability. So that could even be related to your spending habits too. If you find you're overspending, or like it could be extremes in how you save or spend money. And so just be aware of that as well. But for the most part, it is about seeking that long-term security and stability in some area of your life. So Cancer, this concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, take care and I will see you next time.